Yet, it is also called as alto clef or the tenor clef. Let's talk about first about the alto clef. Alto clef is one of many C clefs and is named because its center indicates the middle C. The alto clef center is placed on directly in the middle of the stop, designating the third line from the bottom to middle C. This kind of clef is primarily only used for instruments like viola, viola da gamba, alto trombone, and mandola. Another type of C-clef is the tenor clef, but in this case, its center is on the fourth line from the bottom, unlike on the alto clef that it's in the middle of the stop or the third line. So in this case, the middle C will move up a third from where it was on the alto clef. It is commonly used for the upper ranges of many instruments like bassoon, cello, euphonium, double bass, and trombone. Therefore, we can conclude that all of these clefs are important symbol in the music notation because they are the key to help us find exactly where to play notes on our instruments. So let's now proceed to the accidentals. So what is flat? Basically, flat lowers a note one half step or in other words, it decreases the pitch by half. On the piano keyboard, you can find it at the left of side of the white key. For example, this is an E and as you can see, there's a black key in between. And this black key on the left side of E is the E flat. Here, this is the E and this is the E flat. Its symbol derived from a stylized lowercase b. So, what is sharp? Sharp is the opposite of flat because sharp raises or increases a note one half step. You can find it at the right side of the white key C and B, E, F, G, A. So, here it looks like. Its symbol looks like a number sign. Then, what is natural? Natural cancels sharps and flats. When you see a natural sign next to a note, it only means that any sharp or flat that's already in effect is cancelled for the rest of the measure. In addition, natural notes are the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, and G represented by the white keys on the keyboard of the piano or on the organ. Here, they are the natural notes. For example, this is a D, this is a D flat, and it is cancelled by the natural D. So, what is the harmonious relationship of sharp and flat? The relationship between sharp and flat are cold and harmonious. It means the sharp pitch of a specific note can be a flat of the next note. Or should I say, when they share a common pitch, it is called now as enharmonic. Enharmonic are the two tones that sound the same but they are notated or spelled differently. For example, pitches such as F sharp and G flat are said to be in harmonic equivalence because they are both sounded in the same key on a keyboard instrument. Now, let's proceed to the major keys. So, what is the major keys? We can say that the major keys are different from a minor keys because major keys uses a major scale and minor keys uh, uses a minor scale. On the piano keyboard, the distance between a white key and a black key is a half step. The distance between a white key and another white key is a full step. Except for B and C and E and F, which are half steps. The distance between a black and another black key is another full step. With this full and half step, we can make either uh, major and minor 
scales, all major scales are made up of seven pitches with a eight repeated pitch of a first pitch. They share the same pattern, full, wool, half, full, wool, full, half. So now, what is the importance of this scale in creating major keys? This scale will give the major keys quite different musical notes from the minor keys. It is also important because it sets the name of the notes and how we refer to them. It gives us common language and helps us understand other scales and chords because through this scale, uh, it will unlock all the information about each individual key on the piano. That's why scales are important in creating major keys because you can able to unlock all the secrets of each key when you know them all. Lastly, why major keys has the ordered pattern to construct a scale? Is there an important matter? For me, yes, because it is a cornerstone of pitch organization and structure in the tonal music. This order pattern will determine the kind of scales, like if the pattern is like what I said earlier, which is the full, full, half, full, 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 half, automatic, it is an example of a major scale. So that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot from this video and you understood all the information that I shared to you. So see you in the next video.